On some roads, there is a physical separation between two streams of traffic traveling in opposite directions. These roads are called dual carriageways. Each side usually consists of two, three, or four lanes. The speed limit on such roads is usually no lower than 80 km an hour and no higher than 120 km an hour. There are generally two types of dual carriageways, and the way you drive on them differs considerably. The first is low-speed dual carriageways. The speed limit typically does not exceed 80 km an hour on this type of road. Traffic on such roads is usually controlled by traffic lights or roundabouts. The key to driving on these roads safely is to rely on strong observation and anticipation skills to predict hazards and plan maneuvers accordingly. A good driver should also use these skills to plan ahead and select the appropriate lane well before reaching any upcoming intersection. The second type of dual carriageways is highways or motorways. The speed limit is usually high on this type of roads and they are free of intersections, traffic lights and roundabouts. Entry and exit slip roads are used to control the flow of traffic into and out of the motorway. An entry slip road acts as an acceleration lane to enable drivers to match the speed limit and flow of traffic on the motorway. When you enter the acceleration lane, you should use your left mirror to identify an appropriate gap in the traffic on the motorway and adjust your speed accordingly. Make sure that your speed is appropriate and check the mirrors and blind spots one last time before joining the motorway. To exit the motorway, make sure that you're in the right-hand lane well before reaching the desired exit. Enter the deceleration lane safely and make sure you observe the speed limit on it. The deceleration lane allows you to slow down and match the traffic flow on the new road you intend to join. Remember to always drive in the right-hand lane of a motorway, except when overtaking. To complete an overtaking maneuver safely, apply the system of vehicle control routine three times. The first time to prepare for overtaking by observing your surroundings, increasing your speed and selecting the appropriate gear if you are in manual transmission vehicle. Apply the system a second time to overtake the target vehicle. Remember to maintain a two second gap between you and the target vehicle at all times and to not exceed the speed limit at any point during the overtake. Finally, Apply the system of vehicle control routine once again to safely return to the right-hand lane without cutting in.